He got the gun setting charge! That's a pretty interesting duck. Two Direhorn Matriarch. Bone Drake. Wait, why doesn't he run the curator then? He should run the curator. Do you want to steal that deck? I kind of want to steal that deck. Not enough weapons to justify Forge? What? Four weapons? Are you kidding me? No, not Forge! No, no! You're wrong! I'm not gonna remove the card I rated number two in the set. We've transformed his deck into a winner. I've led his piddly creation to true greatness. I didn't ruin his deck! I didn't ruin it! Alright, I was inspired by that last opponent. The idea of Dead Man's Handing, Nazoth, is really good. Uh, especially with all these Direhorn Hatchlings. I decided to take his puny deck and build on top of it. I noticed that he didn't run the creator, or he got unlucky. So we put that in the deck, and then I figured I might as well slip a Murloc in there while I'm at it. It's kind of cool to run us both towards fatigue since I have one copy of Dead Man's Hand, considered two, but that's too many. Put in a second Bone Drake, because uh, that card seems pretty good, especially with Nazoth. It's definitely more greedy, but that's how I roll you. Draw a bunch of cards, throw out all your Death Rattles, play Nazoth after you Dead Man's Hand your Nazoth, and then you get to play two Nazoths. I mean, how could you turn down seven mana draw three cards in this deck? And get a 4-6 taunt. It's so good. Way to go, Armor Smith. You eat that kill command. I was very surprised that there were actually bad... I was very surprised that these were actually big bad wolves. I thought I was just slaying grandmothers. That was a pretty good sleep of the fishes, but let's get out our six five. Your magic shall not save Draw three. Yes. <laughs> oh. Add nine? That, that is such a bad hand to add. So I'm definitely playing a uh, ghoul thingy. What now? Probably coin uh, Drake. Yeah, I'll well, use the coin. We can just play Hatchling. Do not touch. Coin Bros forever. So I basically played a 3 6 instead of a 6 5 because I like the shininess of a coin. As I made the deck greedier, I also tuned the deck a little bit against aggro by adding in the Ravaging Ghouls. 
This deck should still be good against aggro. Unfortunately, this hand's not so good. <laughs> dead man's hand. Uh-oh. Are we a dead man? Maybe it's the mirror. Drawing Dead Man's hand against aggro is a lot like drawing patches. One turn late, but I'll take it. This is fine. This is fine. There's actually a decent amount of games where uh, I can win here. Well played. There, I mean, you know, of course he can kill me, but there's a decent amount of games where the hatchling, you know, gets played and then I win. Well Just saying. My hand was bad. It's fine. It's it's, it's variance. Never lucky. Okay, let's change this deck. Alright, what do we think? What do we cut Cold Light Oracle for? I don't think the deck that is good! I'll put in Cairn instead of the Cold Light Oracle. Please be token, Druid. And if not, we'll, uh, we'll see if I can pressure... Jade Druid enough, such that I don't need Skulking Geist. Oh, good token. I could make the deck even greedier if I wanted to. Another dead man's hand, rot face. The land mm. Elise. <laughs> On It's not token druid. It's mid range druid. Does it really matter though? It's druid. Oh, hey! Let's do. So, Forge of Souls will get me to 8 cards. Battle Rage will get me to 10 cards. Wait, that's too many cards. He set me up for such a good battle rage, the Forge of Souls will probably go unused. Unless I get lucky and don't draw weapons. This is variance, by the way, doesn't mean Forge of Souls is bad. Just so, just so you guys know. Because we're gonna have all that, you know, lol, Forge of Souls later. 
Strike. Yes, this is the right order. Wait, I should have drawn one fewer card. Guess it wasn't the right order. This was the right order if I wanted to maximize card draw. I guess we can use the coin. Throw the coin away. I probably would have preferred the coin than a card. Hey, I'm dodging the blood razors. This too is variants. I also dodged all my heart removal. I can't even deal one damage with this hand. Wait, I can. Oh, wait, I only have a full hand. Uh, wait, do I just want to Zoth? Whoa, <laughs> you dead man's hand combos with Forge of Souls. Did you guys realize this? Wait, I actually don't have the mana to play that then. I can just draw one Blood Razor. That's, uh, that's decent here. I think we want to actually play Brawl. But if I want to play Brawl, yeah, we want to play Brawl. <laughs> Two, five, eight. Perfect. Wait, I, I'm not druid. I don't have that much mana. <laughs> Good dead man's. I mean, I could forge a souls for a blood razor, but I guess the armor is more important right now. It's forge a souls is still good. I would want to cast it so badly. It's actually pretty incredible. I think I just hit turn uh, 10 mana last turn. I only have six cards left in my deck. draw that because I have dead man's hand. Uh, but first, I definitely need to play a six drop with a death rattle this turn. I guess I should play blood razor this turn also. No, I guess I should play shield slam this turn. Uh, I guess I'll do this. Alright, more order. It's all good. Ball Forge of Souls. Wait, by the way, if I dead man's hand, well, I have Forge of Souls in my hand and the two Blood Razors, I'll actually draw two more Blood Razors. Then I can have six Blood Razors! It's, it doesn't do nothing! <laughs> it doesn't do nothing! It's all good! We're saved! Uh, 
Yeah, I probably draw drew too many cards. I should have played uh, Dead Man's Hand. <laughs> I probably should have played Forge of Souls there, actually, to be honest. It's alright, the cards in my deck are useless. What in the... Alright, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. <laughs> Can't hurt. <laughs> oh man. See now here is a hand that will crush anybody. Forge's souls in the opening hand. Two mana, draw two of the best cards in your deck, and then we've got some lovely ladies to uh Help protect until then. Control Hunter? Hello, Hunter? You're supposed to play something on turn two, you know. Tonight! Oh. Oh. I was like, oh, we're about to get Yashiraj. But no. And we'll uh, just go ahead and draw a Fire War Axe here. Pretty good. Pretty good. Had a chance of not drawing one. Would have been pretty bad. So blood razors, everything is pretty good right here. I mean, I've already won. I know what kind of clan fiesta deck you're running here, Hunter. But it simply won't do against the Forge of Souls opening. There are certain draws where I was uh, going to send that in. I didn't actually miss one damage. Certain draws being exactly battle rage, I guess. This is the deck when it's running properly. The value engine. Card draw keeps coming. We have two executes, we have two brawls, we have a sleep of the fishies with the blood razor. All the answers are good, I just uh, am really far ahead on the answer track right now. I guess I overdraw. Oh well. This this stack just overdraws for days. Oh, that's 
That's fine. I didn't need it in this matchup. Fishes the attack with Blood Razor. Yeah, that actually would have been pretty good. I just figured Brawl would never really be used again. Also, it's not bad to have him have two 1 1s. Uh, in the case that I want to blar Blarl again, Brawl. Let's see, so I've had a Hatchling die. I've had a Bone Drake die. No respect. It's pretty tough to, uh, so here's the finding. It's pretty tough to actually play the Bone Drakes in the Cairn because there's not much I can do alongside it. You can only play exactly one Bone Drake or one Cairn, and then like the rest of your mana has to go towards an answer. And sometimes like the answers are kind of. Not try to put it. They're a thing. Anyways, this Nazos should crush him. Two Bone Drakes and Direhorn Hatchling. That's pretty good. We'll have to save the execute for this, uh... Oh, maybe not for this. Oh, card. Hey! Again! Okay, Nas Dormu was actually the right play there. I'm just super greedy. Well, no, because this, uh, this pulls Nazoth even further up. I just have to play the Hatchling and then play the Nazoth, and I always win. Maximum value Nazoth achieved. Well, on the first go before Dead Man's Hand. Aww. Wait, oh, not maximum value. One more. I mean, that really should get hit first. Kinda want more value. It's not even too much greed, he had a 7-4! I'll play the Nazos next turn. But, but, 